Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna talk about the first episode of Ultraman Z. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before I talk about this episode, I first wanna state that I am not an expert on the modern day shows created for Ultraman. As a matter of fact, I'm more familiar with the old school Ultraman episodes that were previously produced in the 60s and the 70s. However, I don't have any prior knowledge to the newer Ultraman shows, so unfortunately my information might be misinformed. But nevertheless, I saw the first episode of Ultraman Z on YouTube entirely for free, of course, legally by Super Riot Productions. And I cannot believe just how awesome, how funny, and just how entertaining the episode was. The first thing that immediately caught my attention for Ultraman Z was that one of the previous monsters from Ultra Q actually appeared in the first few seconds of the episode. And of course, the monster I'm referring to is a guy named Gomez. For those who don't know who is Gomez, here's a bit of like a backstory behind the history of the monster. Now, of course, Super Riot Production, of course, is the byproduct of Eiji Super Raya. And of course, the guy has so much power, so much influence in Japan. And matter of fact, he worked as a director for special effects for Godzilla, for Mothra, for the Mysterians, a lot of these tokushatsu movies that people love and enjoy to this very day. And of course, he formed, like, of course, Super Riot Production. And so what happened is that he actually borrowed some suits from previous monster movies that he did in the past from Toho Studios. And for some of the episodes for Ultraman, they used the Godzilla suits for some of them. And of course, immediately for the first episode of Ultra Q, they used the Godzilla suit for the monster Gomez. And of course, he was entirely in black and white. And so it's pretty nice that they actually used Gomez again for this episode. What I also find so curious is that like a lot of these Japanese shows, they tend to have Z for like the final thing or whatever. For example, there was like Dragon Ball, and then it was like Dragon Ball Z. And so I'm kind of curious, is it like some sort of marketing for like Super Rare Productions N? Because I know for a fact that Ultraman has been going on for like 50 plus years, and so I don't think for a single second that, of course, Ultraman will ever go away. Of course, it's been going humongous as of lately. Because there has been announcements from, like, Marvel Studios of the comic books coming out. There's, like, various announcements from, like, Mill Creek Entertainment about the Blu-rays that are coming out. And so, I think it's probably just marketing or something when it comes down to the name. There is this one part in the episode that I found to be super hilarious. Of course, I'm talking about the transformation for Ultraman. There is this one part where Ultraman and a, the main character, they supposedly died. And of course, Ultraman is actually teaching the guy how to transform into Ultraman. And so what happens is that he has like this sort of pen or whatever to transform into Ultraman. And he's been teaching like the guy, hey, you have to say like the words like with emotion and stuff. And of course, that was funny. And he was like, Henshin, Henshin, Henshin. And of course, he finally turned to Ultraman. And of course, it's like many moments like this in the show that are super funny, but also really, really cool to see. What's also really cool for this episode is that there's like a second monster towards the end. Now the first monster, of course, was Gomez, and the second monster also appears. And so Ultraman and a giant robot was just fighting the living crap of the monster. And of course, that was very fun and very entertaining to see. Also, maybe it's me. But I just love, absolutely just love, the combination between Soupmation and CGI for these episodes. Like, basically, of course, like, a lot of movies nowadays, they don't use practical effects. And so, most of the time you see special effects is mostly CGI. And so, there was, yes, people in suits that was actually being the monsters. There was also the CGI for, like, laser beams and stuff like that. So, to me... The combination of old and new actually enhanced the experience for Ultraman Z Episode 1. And hopefully the special effects could just get better and better and better and better from here on forth. Overall, I enjoyed this episode. 
I recommend it to you guys. And of course, episode one of Ultraman Z gets a B+. So what do you guys think about this episode? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.